Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to another exciting, fun adventure of Harry's cocktail adventures, I should say. Um, tonight's one is a real simple one. It's one that I forgot. I was going to go off the vodkas for a while, but uh, this is probably one of the most popular, easy uh, drinks that you could make with vodka. And it's called a Greyhound. I'm not going to go into the history of a Greyhound because that'll. I, I need time to ex explain my story, my funny story. So we'll get straight into it. So, first of all, you get a, a glass. Um, excuse me, glass, uh, ice girl, can I have my ice girl? Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Just wave to the camera. Say hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ada. So, what you do is you get a whole glass and you fill it up with ice. I know what I forgot. I'll be right back. Sing a song or something, somebody. La 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 la. La la la. <laughs> Sponsored by Ratio, but I'm not allowed to advertise. So that's one. That's two. Then, all you do is top it up with grapefruit juice. And that's it. That's it. That's a greyhound. Now I'll just have a sip. Wow, very refreshing, very refreshing. Actually, we're still in the middle of winter here, but it's really good on a hot day, this sort of. If you like gin and tonics, try one of those. All right, now the story. When I was living in, uh, can somebody turn that down a bit? Yeah, sure. I don't want, just a fraction. The other way, that's it, that's it, yeah. Thanks, Ada, beautiful, okay. The story is, when I was living in New Farm in Brisbane, I lived by the river and I had my own apartment because I was a, I was a, uh, a hotshot finance broker, right? <coughs> and one night I heard like some tapping on the window and I thought, what can this be? So I opened the window up and guess what? Action. A whole lot of these things, another one, Right, all different colours, was zooming in and hitting the window, and one hit me in the face, and I thought, what the hell are these things? They were nearly as big as birds. Right, okay, that'll do. Um, so they were all coming in, and they were making noises, like, like, like um, ca uh, cameraman, just, that's enough, no more. Uh, so anyway, what I did, they were actually flying cockroaches. In Brisbane, <laughs> you're bumping the camera off. Don't touch the camera. Don't touch it. All right. It's so frustrating. You just can't get good help anymore. Anyway, let me have a drink. So these cockroaches are coming at me for weeks, and I thought I've had enough. I'm going to kill these bugs because what they do is they creep in, and that, then they'd be walking around on the floor and eating crumbs and whatever. And I could hear them scurrying around at night. So what I did, I actually got a whole lot of jam tins. This is a true story. And because, I, as you know, I'm a bit of a... I, lo I like sort of um, inventing things and mixing things up. So I got jam tins and I got some plastic bolts. And I got these lids and I fit them inside. And I attached the negative to the outside of the can and the positive to... 240 volts. Can you imagine around my unit, I had about half a dozen outlets with these cans sitting at night. And I thought, when the little creepy buggers come in, they'll go along the floor, they'll, and I had bait sitting in the middle. They'll come along, they'll crawl up down into the can, and zap, they'll get blown up, right? Wow. Kaboom. 
And I think I had, one night I even had Dean, my, my brother, come up and stay one night. And he was actually, I said, be careful where you, when you go to the toilet because if you step on one of these cans, you can't get electrocuted and you're going to die, right? He couldn't believe what I was doing. So I'm laying there on my big futon, king size bed. It's all dark, Dean's asleep, snoring, whatever. And then I hear, then I see flashes, like blue flashes, boom, 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 boom. Where these cans were, were blue flashes of light. I thought, yes, every time there's a blue flash, I'm toasting them, right? So I get up in the morning and I start inspecting my cans and guess what? I had six cans and each, in each can there was like three cockroaches all running around with one antenna. So all that I managed to do was when they got up and into the can, all it did was blow one of their antennas off when it earthed. So they'd hop in, get on, boom, there goes the antenna. They'd eat what was in it. So it was a total failure and it was the nearest thing to me being electrocuted. Um, and, and also Dean. It's a wonder I didn't. So that could have wor worked out being very tragic and a stupid idea. But that is a true story. Don't do this at home. Do not plug this into 240 volts. Um, just, uh, just be happy. Make your cocktails. Simple. Boy, that's nice. Do I get an applause? You can applause now. Okay, I'm going to go because I'm cooking up a hibashi, which is my new thing. I might even do some YouTube stuff on that, uh, hibashi cooking. So uh, I've got some uh, guests coming soon, so um, I've got to be off. Thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the story. True story. I think the cockroaches are still swarming down in uh, New Farm, which has got a reputation for a lot of other co types of cockroaches. Uh, and on that matter, I'm, I'm um, finishing up. So. Next week, we'll have something different, not a vodka, I don't know, gin or something like that. Uh, just to vary the cocktails a little bit. Okay, thanks for watching, I'm off. Woo! Keep clapping, keep clapping.